Hey, have you seen the cradle thing? Yeah. No, yeah, the connector. It's the cradle on the phone cradle and the other cradle in the connector. No? Yeah. Screw it. I'm ordering a new one. Ooh, that was quick. Don't you love it when something super practical, pragmatic, and simple, and inexpensive, makes your life easier and therefore better. Let's go give this thing a spin. All right, so what is this thing that I ordered? It's a PigTech cradle for my DJI Osmo Pocket used in conjunction with my iPhone. Um, excuse me, Mr. Jackass? It's PGY Tech, not PigTech. Now when I got rid of my Canon system, I quickly realized that I'm gonna need to use this DJI Osmo Pocket as my behind the scenes camera. Now I had had the first version of, of this PGY Tech and it was a pain in the ass. Whereas this one folds into one small piece and it's all aluminum, the other one was two piece, part aluminum and part plastic that did not fold and the connector on the bottom constantly came loose. So as you'd be using it, it would constantly flop over like that and it drove me crazy so i really did think i had lost it and ordered a new one then i subsequently found it in the drawer i was looking in i do that a lot so what i like about this thing is one rather than using my phone as my vlogging camera all of the memory goes to the osmo pocket on an sd card then i can choose to store it wherever i want this has some other functions that I like in terms of uh, hyperlapse and time lapses, but this also becomes my user interface. And for somebody with bad eyes, it is so nice to have this as my user interface for vlogging. It makes life so much easier. So when I'm up here shooting the dogs, doing still shots and doing flash shots, and I wanna do something behind the scenes, this is gonna be what I use. And this has made life super easy. Now also, I decided to use my Ronin S handle tripod that you see here. I may get something different, but for now, this is working great. It's so compact. It's easy to set down on these rocks or in the grass uh, anywhere around me, very stable. The Gorillapod I use on that Sony constantly falls over. The legs have been used so much, it's kind of wobbly pisses me off to no end, but these are super stable and easy to adjust. And in addition to it being easy to use in terms of my eyesight, I can also put sound on it so that when I'm wandering away from the camera, uh, I can use it. Notice I've got the original Rode system on here. So I've got the wireless two on the A7C. I've got the first version on here. So I can use those both if I want to. Oh, and by the way, if you want to check out a small review, short review of the road. Check the link above. So overall, this has just made life a lot easier. Recommend this if you've got a DJI Osmo Pocket, 
Maybe you already have this. Most people probably do if they've got this. But if you want to do some behind the scenes vlogging or any type of vlogging, this is going to do you right. Highly recommend this. And just to give you an idea of what this user interface looks like, I'm going to set this down and we'll uh, take a look at the back of the screen if we can see it in the sunlight. All right, let's give it a shot. It's hard to say if you can see that or not, but uh, that is the Osmo Pocket facing outwards. And there's the back of the screen. It's just such a great little system. So if I'm over here shooting with the dogs, blap, 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 blap. There it is, I'm getting behind the scenes stuff of me. Really nice tool. So that's it, real quick and dirty. If you're using the Osmo Pocket, get yourself one of these for some behind the scenes or whatever you wanna do blogging. Really nice tool. All right, let's head out.